Hola, you sexy viscous, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you haven't seen it already, make sure to check out my video I released earlier today, looking at the game and telling you whether or not you should buy it. In that video, I said I was going to be doing a performance test. Now, in that video, I did talk about what Saber Interactive have done to make this game run better than it should, because honestly, this game really shouldn't be able to run on Nintendo Switch. It's an absolute bloody miracle. By the way, yes, you did just see a floating tree, and that is going to be our first talking point. Draw distance. Now, I don't know why, but the trunk of the tree loads in later than the top of the tree. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the trunk will then appear. So now we have a full tree over there. And this is something you're going to notice quite a lot while playing on a big monitor, as opposed to just playing handheld. Handheld, it isn't massively noticeable. But if we were to look at some flowers, for instance, and I'm going to back up here, and as you can see, they're going to slowly despawn, right? So there's a line about here, okay? with my cursor, and we're going to walk forwards, and there you go, they're all spawning in slowly. Now this is done to help performance. As standard, Kingdom Come Deliverance seems to run at about 30. I don't have the ability to look at exact frames. Now, I don't know if Digital Foundry have made a video on this due to being currently still in embargo. I'm recording this a day before you guys see this video. But if you want an in-depth look at frame rates and stuff like that, they're probably going to be your best bet. But I have played a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance over the last six years, and I've kind of trained my eye to be able to notice these things. And I can tell you right now that this seems to be running an almost smooth 30, okay? And if we're to spin, that's another thing you can do in Kingdom Come Deliverance to help stuff spawn in and to make the game run that little bit smoother. Now, there is a stress test that I've used for years in this game, and that is the retire run. Basically, you get a horse and run as fast as you can through the town of Retai. Retai has always been the hardest area in Kingdom Come Deliverance to run on every system, including your highest end PCs. You will always get slowdown in Ratai. You're probably wondering, Roxy, why are you out in the middle of nowhere? Well, um, unfortunately, I don't have a horse and I need to get said horse from Neuhoff. Now, I don't have any money either, so I'm going to have to steal a horse from Neuhoff and then ride back to Ratai. And you're probably also wondering, why did you bother showing us any of this? Well, I think the um, loading distance and the spawn distance is quite interesting, and I wanted to show you this, and this is a good area to do that, because there are a ton of flowers in this area that will really help kind of show what I'm talking about. We're going to head over to Neuhoff. I've got to seriously give props, though, to um, Saber Interactive, who are the only people that have worked on this. Uh, Warhorse Studios had barely any input in this at all. Um, and again, that is something I want to bring up because it's something I keep seeing people say is Warhorse shouldn't have spent their time on this. They should be making their next game. Uh, they are, and they haven't spent any time on this. This is all down to Saber Interactive and their amazing port. Um, that we're currently seeing right now. Uh, now, there is a horse. Yeah, there's a horse right there. We might be able to steal this without anyone noticing. So we're just going to pop over here, and we're going to jump on it. this horse. Now, this is quite a good horse. It's a bit average, but it will get the job done. And that's the most important thing. Now, obviously, while cantering, you're going to notice the pop in a hell of a lot more than you would uh, while just running. Um, thankfully, though, the game does keep up, and you can see um, that there's no stutters or anything. We're still playing at that solid frame rate, um, but you can notice the flower situation, especially on the right there, a lot easier. But Ratai is just around this corner. You can start to see it right there. And we're going to do the test, because I think that is the most important test you can do in this game. Do I recommend running full pelt through Ratai? No. Literally no. On any system, I do not recommend it. It's not good for your health. 
there is a lot of stuttering and just weird glitches and stuff that happens. I do not recommend it, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be doing that today, just so you can get the most realistic look at what they would look like. Because yes, there are channels out there who will look at your frame rates, your frame timings and everything else, but I wanted to give you a kind of more personal look. When you buy the game, this is what's gonna happen. And I like that a bit more. I like kind of just seeing, instead of just using specific areas or specific situations, we've been able to actually go around. We've seen uh, the different areas over here and the, the kind of grass spawn and the kind of different spawning situations. Okay, a weird thing that I've ne Oh, you see that? You see the wall of Ratai? Hang on, let's back up. So that, I'm pretty sure, was the low-level detail version. Yeah, okay. So what you're seeing there is the LOD version of Ratai. Okay, we're going to get a bit closer. And wait for it. And it should spawn in the full version about now. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's really interesting. Also, for some reason, this is the only port of the game I've ever seen where the um, bridge doesn't load in for quite a while. Um, so you've actually just got the kind of underneath of the bridge, you can see. But as you get closer, we can actually make it appear and disappear. You see that? I love stuff like that. It's so interesting. So I've skipped ahead a little bit because I didn't want to kind of spoil the surprise. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, I, I want you to see what it's like to just start from a stationary position and to just run up Ratai, right? So, as you can see here, um, frame rate, relatively good. It's not perfect, but I think it's still very playable. Uh, but if we were to head over here and kind of interfere with the lighting and the kind of shadows, you can see we do start to slow down uh, the frame rate a little bit. You see that? It's a little bit choppier. And that's due to, obviously, um, different lighting situations and stuff, which is kind of interesting. Um, but here we have our, our, our generic horse. We're going to jump on this, and then we're going to ride full pelt through Ratai. Here we go. Three, two, one. Full speed. Okay. Uh, so as we go up here, we can see we've got NPCs kind of spawning in uh, different assets kind of spawning in uh that's to be expected that's not a switch problem um but yeah it's not great it's um a little bit choppy just hurts your eyes a little bit i'm gonna be honest and we're out i will say i'm very impressed with how quickly the game kind of fixes itself as you see there we're back to almost full speed that's not okay we're getting there but yeah the game kind of goes back to what it was before. That stress test is amazing, because not only are there so many NPCs in Ratai, it's the most populated area in the game. But I just love doing that, because every console I've ever tested this on, and PC, is, have always acted a little bit differently. Sometimes NPCs won't have heads, sometimes NPCs will just spawn in completely right in front of you. Another little thing, you see that guy in front of us? I'm just going to zoom in on him. Those four pixels is a person, right? But you can see his frame rate is lower than our current frame rate. And that's another trick that's been done by games for years. Um, and I always find really bloody interesting. I think that's given you guys a good idea. Do I recommend this? Yeah. Yes. You are not going to be running full pelt through Ratai the entire time you're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. You're going to be generally walking, because honestly, there's so much to do here. There are so many quests, so many NPCs to talk to. You're going to be walking around here most of the time anyway. So you aren't going to be running into those issues that I was just seeing there. Um, but as of right now, I think this is an absolute marvel that they've been able to get this running as well as it is on Switch. Um, and just well done, Saber Interactive. Like, honestly, super impressive. And I'm thinking with the Switch 2 hopefully releasing late this year or maybe early next year, this game will also get a bit of an upgrade because apparently 
there have been talks of games that are currently out on Switch will get a boost like they did for Xbox Series X. Unlike Kingdom Come Deliverance. You know, at least one console might do it, eh? Right, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you guys thought. Are you picking this up? If you are, let me know. Leave a like. Comment down below. But until next time, that's me! Out. Bye, guys.